Here, check it on Cool. How did you make that go so fast? It's got batteries in. See? It would be a good idea to use batteries to make our bots go, wouldn't it? I actually was thinking of different sorts of energy systems to make them go. I was thinking of storing energy in different ways. Check it How can we store energy? How about using balloons to store energy? Balloons? What? Are, Are you kidding? kidding? <laughs> what, what? Trakatano says she's going to use balloons to make the safari kids' boats go. What does she mean? Balloons float up in the air. They don't float along the water. I wonder what she means. What, what? Hey! How are we going to use balloons, Trakatano? I tell you what, why don't you take a balloon and see what they do? Okay, so now let the balloons go. Are you serious? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, how are the balloons going to make a boat go, Trakatanu? Well, if you blow into the balloons, you're filling them with air. And if you hold on to the end, and the air wants to escape, you're keeping it inside. So we could say there's stored energy inside. But if you release the seal at the mouthpiece end, and you let the balloon go, it'll fly away. So the air forces the balloon to move away from the direction the air is going, like this. So you mean you can attach a balloon to a boat, breathe into it, and when you let it go, the boat will move? Exactly. But if you wanted it to go quite far, you'd have to keep blowing the balloon up. True, True but we only want your boat to go a short distance. Let's see if we can get it to work. I'll use this polystyrene tray as your hull. Isn't that the wrong shape of the boat? Shouldn't it have a pointed end? Yes, but at the moment, all we're really interested in is figuring out how to get the boat to move. Now we need something to hold the balloon onto. Let's use this piece of plastic here. But how are we going to attach this to the tray? A uh, hull could maybe stick it down with sticky tape. Yeah, I'm sure that will be fine for this experiment. So, you hold on to this. While we get our sticky tape ready in a few moments, if you could find where its tip is, right here. There we go. And slip. And there. That looks really good. Yeah, but there's just one little problem. Can you see what it is? Okay, come, hello, come blow the balloon up for us. bit more. Now hold on to the end so the air doesn't come out. Right. You see, we've got this mast here at the end of the boat and we've got the balloon here ready to move the boat. Let's put it into the fish tank and see how that goes. Okay. Are you ready? On your marks, get set and go. Oh, look. If the air comes out this way, the boat will be that way. And that's the wrong way. This is the front of the boat. Oh, yes! yes. I see, I see. Good work, Ruan. Okay, Kamukhalo, let's take it out of the tank and put it the right way and start again. So our balloon has to be this way around. And let the blowing begin. Hold the end so the air doesn't come out. And let's put it into the fish tank, come closer. Okay, on your marks, get set, and go. Oh. Hey, Marvin. Yes, Marvin. Hey, I've decided mm -hmm. I'm going to be an adventurer. An adventurer? Mm-hmm. Right? No, I am, really. Okay, what kind of an adventurer are you going to be? <laughs> well, one of the kind that you see in newspapers or on TV. You know, they climb up really high mountains on one leg or walk all the way to the North Pole. Ah, <laughs> you mean you want to be famous? No, well, not really. Well, that would be okay, hey? And how are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to fly up to the heart of Africa and see what big adventure I can go on. 
a big adventure, eh? Mm -hmm. And how are you going to fly there? Well, I'm going to go by balloon. Really? Yes. The Highness told me about this man who flew all the way around the world using a balloon. I won't even be going that far. Okay. But where are you going to get the balloon? Hey, I've got one already. Really? Hmm. Where is it? Oh, it's in the drawer in the lounge. Hmm. Remember we had those balloons for your birthday party last year? You're going to go and have an adventure with a party balloon? Yes. Well, goodbye, Marvin. And good luck. Oh, thank you, Marvin. Thank you. Mm. Oh. So, Chekatoni, if you make one foot go by using a balloon, what are you going to do for the other one? I was thinking we could make a rowboat. You know, with oars. But there'd be no one in the boat to row. Oh, true. Actually, I was thinking along the same lines as Shivana, so I made this to show you. Well, this is a good idea. Can you see how it works? Yes. You turn this pedal here round and round, so the elastic band, seat here, mm -hmm. gets tighter and tighter. This is another way of storing energy. And then when you let it go, the boat moves. Let's see if it works. Go for it. Okay, are you ready, Ruan? On your marks, get set, and go. Cool. That works really well. Yay! Hey. Great. So now we've worked out what to use to make the boats move. Air escaping from a balloon and pedal power. So next time, we'll make the real models. Yay! Yeah. Stop. Now you've got to find a way to move your boat without delay. When we'll move you if you have a sail? So can you, and if you try, and so can you. Hey, what, what? Now I see how they can use the balloons to make the boats go. Trakatanu is very clever, huh? I would have never thought of blowing up a balloon and letting the air out. And did you see what they did with the elastic bands? What, what? I can't wait to see the bones. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you can think of different energy systems that make boats go. See you next time. Bye. What moves your boat? Let's think. You must make sure it doesn't sink. To get yourself the best kind of heart, you can paint it, it so it looks less dark. So can you, and if you try, and so can you.